right guys dad dash is back here for another ride along so guys tonight we're going out for a, a little dinner uh action here we're gonna go out for three hours it's 5 30 i've already got all three apps powered up and we're gonna do it in our home market of martinsburg um i was gonna go down to charlestown but then i decided um there wasn't a whole lot of doordash action down there in grubbub contains charlestown so i figure if our path takes us to Charlestown. We'll go down there. We'll probably be able to get active. It's a Saturday night. It should be red everywhere. Um, but uh, there was a peak going on. It looks like it just ended. It was a $1.50 peak. So I thought, why not? Let's take advantage of that. It's gone now, but it, you know, you never know. It may be back. It's a rainy day. Um, so I wanted to go over the goals for tonight uh, and the measurements. Um, I'm not sure if the video has been out yet, but eventually this will make sense. But I'm going to go ahead and incorporate it in uh this in and, and bring this into the videos because this is how i measure my shifts this is what i do before i go out i do some groundwork before i even go out and i will set my goals uh so that when i get done i will do a series of things to evaluate where, I, where how it went and what was going on so to set the bar for tonight our goal is three hours uh, orders per hour, I'm expecting to do two to three orders per hour to stay on pace. So when I look back, I'll evaluate that. I'm hoping to keep us at three hours. My, my dollar goal, which is the ultimate important thing, is $75. Of course, I'm always looking to make 100 if I can. 100 is always by default, but I position everything by 100 And my expectation is to earn $25 gross revenue per hour. So if I'm only going to be out three hours, I'm going to downwardly adjust that goal with hopes of maybe having a better than expected evening and maybe doing 100 in three hours, but we'll see. But for right now, 75 is our dollar target. That means that I'm expecting to complete six to nine orders tonight while I'm out. Um, and in order flow to do that, my expectation on this market is that I'm gonna to need to look at and have offered to me 30 to 45 offers or at least five offers per accepted order. And my average order size that I've got to look to complete has to fall in between $8.35 to $12.50. Now, with DoorDash, it's a little bit difficult because there's hidden tips. So I have to have an expectation that that hidden tip might take me over that. If that's the case, then if I have good foundational support to believe that I can generate that, then I will accept those orders. And my acceptance rate, I would expect, would need to be 20% or higher tonight. So when I get done tonight, I will evaluate and do, there's a series of, of data that I'm going to collect, and then I'm going to take a moment either later tonight, or I'll do it first thing in the morning, and I will look to see where I came in at, and then I'll try to see what went wrong, and if I didn't reach my $75, or if, or if I reached my $75 and it took me longer, but I'm going to look, and those are the expectations that I've developed from working this market several times and looking at the data that's come out of this market. And I'm going to look at that and see what data point didn't come in. I expect all of those data points should bear out tonight because it's a rainy Saturday night. I think order flow should be there and we may even get there with less orders tonight because I believe in this market people will tip heavier. But we will see. That's what we're going to look at and that this is what you need to do. You've got to memorialize your goal. You've got to think about your goal. You've got to be aware of your goal that you want to do. And then you have to set out the parameters that you believe you've got to do. Now, I am not going to worry about those parameters anymore. Those are the measurements. The only thing I'm going to be focused on is order value. Using my divisor at .414 to make sure that the orders I'm accepting have, a order, have an order value of at least $25 or more and my goal is to create positive, as much order equity as I can versus my goal, not my offered equity, but the goal equity to allow myself, if I'm only doing two orders an hour, to be able to finance that extra time or to be able to take that order equity and help me complete my goal faster and get to $75 faster. But my only focus right now going forward from this moment on is going to be based on order value and generating order value of $25 gross revenue or higher. All right, guys, I do apologize for the lengthy intro, but I wanted to go over those things as I put out my series of videos that I'm going to be trying to put out uh, on these topics. 
this will hopefully make more sense. This might make it to market before those go out or not, because those are going to be in production, and I'm, you know, it's a lot of information that I want to include, so I'm trying to do it um, in a more organized fashion. But anyways, guys, uh, if it hasn't come out yet, you're seeing it for the first time here, this information. If not, it will make sense to you, and this will be the first video that you'll see all that information included in. All right, guys, I'll be talking to you soon. I'm heading towards the middle of the market. Um, I've gotten a couple offers, but nothing that I was willing to take. And uh, as soon as I get an offer, I'll come on, we'll break it down, and uh, we'll get started. All right, guys, talk to you soon. So I want to let you know we did get our first order, and it's a uh, it's a short haul order. Um, and uh, we started the order. It's about seven, or it's about uh, let's see here. Sorry, we got the order at five forty three, and um, let's see here. And we it is about five fifty five right now. So we're about twelve minutes into the order. Um, the $7 gave us about 17 minutes to get the order done. So we are about 12 minutes in. We've got five minutes left. Our journey right now, according to our um, GPS, we should come right in right when we're supposed to. Um, and it should end up being 17 minutes, give or take a minute or two, which should put us in right at about a $25 order value. So we have a 17-minute completion goal. So we'll see if we can do that. So, guys... First order today, I took this because I was literally right near the sheets and I wanted to take advantage of my sheets drink subscription. So, uh, it all just kind of worked out. So, um, I've got DoorDash powered off. I'm going to power it back on here in a few minutes. Uber's still on and operating in the background because it's the least aggressive app um, of the three. So, um, I'm hopeful I'll get something. Uh, and like I said, about two minutes from the drop off, I'm going to power DoorDash back on. And hopefully I'll have something to report on when I come back on to tell you final order value. And to hopefully tell you about the next order that we get. Alright guys, I'll be talking to you in a second. Alright guys, Dad Dash back here with an update. So we completed the uh, completed that Grubhub order. Um, it, did, it did fall in a little bit lower than $25 uh, dollar order value, which is what we were shooting for. It came in at $22.55. But for our first order of the day to get us going, I'll take it. All right. It was a, the short haul orders are the hardest to create equity in and are the hardest to sometimes bring in where you need to because everything has to run perfect and wait times have to be non existent. And if there's a wait time of any kind, you know, and you're traveling as I had to downtown through the downtown area, you're going to get hung up. But on my way there, I got, as you probably saw, uh, and as you can now see up on the screen, I got a stacked order from DoorDash for sixteen twenty-five. I absolutely believe we can absolutely destroy the initial um, uh, stated order value here. The stated order value on this order is uh, sixteen twenty-five. They're predicting it's going to take an hour to complete this order. Now, I will tell you, I'm taking a risk. These are two restaurants who are notorious for wait times. So, if I get there and there's long wait times and DoorDash wins this war, I do not believe it should take me an hour from when I can, you know, from when I dropped off that last order. If it does, you know, the thing about an order like this is we're not in a completely horrible state where we're getting eight, seven, eight, nine dollars an hour. We're still getting a respectable wage. But it ain't where we want it to be at. We want to add an immense amount of value here. I also have a belief that there could be, based on the way DoorDash offers tips in this area that they're going to send me to, which is up near my own home, so I know this, DoorDash will promote large tips because of, to cover the distance. So I also believe there's a chance there we got some extra tip, that this could come in closer to the $20 range with all the extra tip factored in and if we can get this done in 40 minutes instead of 60 minutes boom we're right where we need to be so anyways guys uh this order right now um 1625 
uh, as you probably, it's probably already up on the screen. Well, not probably, it is up on the screen. But we have to get it done in 39 minutes or less. So like that 40 minutes that I talked about there, that's at the 1625. I'm anticipating extra tip. If there isn't, we want to cover ourselves. So let's hit it at 39 or less. But if there is, then we add even more value to the order. So anyways, guys, that's where we're at. Um, I'm on my way to Wingstop right now first, and then I'll be heading to Chili's after that. And once I get done picking them up, I may come back in with an update, let you know how pickup went, and let you know how we're tracking as we're going to make that first order. Um, and then we'll take it from there. All right, guys, I'll be talking to you soon. All right, guys, back up with an update there. So as you can see right there, we got a little extra tip on the first order. The first order was $9.25. It turned out to be $10. So we got $0.75 cents extra. However, the downside to this order, and again, the gamble that we were taking um, on this, or at least the estimation I was making, was that the wait times would be absorbed between when I accepted this order and you know dropped off that grub hub order and then by the time i was going to get back to the restaurants my hope was that the orders would be ready to go and this chili's is normally pretty organized and pretty good but they got us uh the chili's order we ended up waiting uh almost 12 minutes for the food the restaurants were right next to each other um so that wasn't an issue i could literally very easily move between the two but the chili's order which was the first order i had to pick up was forever um so they they ended up rising our wait time and then uh wing stop order was already ready mainly because we waited so long at chili's um and now we made that first drop off we've got about nine minutes to go and it's 6 44 right now which means we're going to arrive probably about 6 53 um and that's just where it is so <sighs> disappointing disappointing but we're going to try to make the best of it. And if there were to be any extra tip here on this $7 order, that would absolutely go the extra mile. Otherwise, we're going to end up with an order value of about $19.90, which will not be a good start to the day. So neither of the orders, none of the order selection that we've taken was very good so far. So um, we're going to have to take some steps here to probably stack up some orders and try to see if we can get some strategic stacks going in order to clean up some of this and really supercharge uh, the next hour because the first hour ended just ended um, we I believe we accepted that first order at um, da, 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 5.43 so we're about two minutes into the next hour and we've already earned about we've earned seventeen dollars which means probably about fifteen dollar first hour not exactly what we were looking for at all now this next order that we're going to deliver will obviously potentially supercharge you know add add to that a little bit and we'll get a little bit of a better pull through rate on the hours but point is it's not good right now this was not what we wanted to do this was not how we wanted to begin and uh it all comes down to order selection so i made a few errors i made some estimations we took some risks and um you know some of them work out some of them don't but the bottom line is we got to make some adjustments we're going to try to do that we should be in a position to get another order fairly quickly because we're up at we're up near a shopping area that's got some restaurants we'll see how that works all right guys in the meantime i'm going to get back to work here get back to focusing on getting this order delivered uh, without any issues to further delay things and uh, then I'll be back to go over the final order value and hopefully to tell you about the next order we're going to be doing. Alright guys, talk to you soon. guys dad dash back here so as you can see there no extra tip on that second order would have been nice because that could have helped us but we ended up with a $17 order with 75 cents extra extra 
Um, but the wait times killed us here. We ended up with a $20 order value. Um, so definitely well below where we were at. We've made $24 here and we've been out a little, well, a little over an hour. So not a great first hour at all by any shape of the imagination. We did end up getting an order from a couple order offers that were not good. And then the cell phone service up in this area for me, uh, I'm working on getting another option to be able to better cover all the coverage areas. But the cell phone service up in these parts is absolutely really, really, really lacking. So, um, I, it's not good. So, I am um, working on trying to do something with that. But, for the time being, um, it ended up, I ended up getting an offer that I never got to see from Dunkin' Donuts. I wouldn't have taken it anyways. I don't do business with the Dunkin' Donuts that's up here. They're so terribly mismanaged. So, I would have passed on that order. I don't care how high it was, unless it was like a $20 order or something. But, um, not sure what it was, but I didn't get to see it because I missed the order and then they paused my dad. I am uh, kind of just making my way through this shopping plaza up here to see if I can attract anything. I'm not going to waste too much time up here, even though I hate to have to go ride the miles to get back to, to, to Market Center. I'll do so simply because my service is so spotty up here. But we're going to try to have a better second hour, which we've already began. And hopefully we can get something big here, get something big going on, and um, you know maybe make up for some of the lost uh, ground that we had for that first hour. All right, guys, I'll be talking to you soon, and um, I'll come back with an update as soon as I have an order to report on, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, talk to you in a minute. Dad Dash here, and I don't think I came in here and told you guys about the order when I got it. And then my wife called after I picked up the order, so I apologize. But I got an order that I just completed. It was to Asian Garden, an Asian restaurant, for $12.53. So uh, it ended up, needing, it needed to be done within 30 minutes in order to clock in at the $25 goal that we had, an order value goal that we had. And we got it done right at 30 minutes. So it clocked in at 25, I believe 2506 or 2504. You're seeing it up on the screen. Order value. First one of the day to reach the $25 order value. Negative part is we don't have anything to finance to ride back. So we need to make sure we get an order relatively quickly. And we need to make sure it's relatively sizable. But nonetheless, first victory today, first order that came in on pace. So we got to continue this now. We need to get a couple orders that are higher than pace in order to gain back some of the uh, some of the um, uh, ground that we lost. So um, I'm heading back. Like I said, I'm heading back in the direction of the market, and uh, I'm hopeful that I'll be able to do that. So in the meantime, guys, uh, I will. Uh, I'm going to focus on getting back to the market and uh, seeing what we can do here to try to uh, find a good follow-up order uh, to start this uh, third hour. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Alright guys, Dad Dash here. So, I uh, wanted to go over um, the last order and I'm on and, and I got a new order as well. So, uh, order you see up there, that was the order I accepted coming through. It was actually coming right off the road and it, it, it was going to ride me right across the direction I wanted to go to get to the center of the market. So, I accepted that order. It turned out to be two drinks and a chili. I did not think there was going to be any more than what was showing, but I thought, you know what, it's financing those miles. Wendy's, of course, doesn't have their, their act together. They're telling you in the app to go through the drive-thru, so I wait through the drive-thru. Then they tell me to come inside, even though the app said don't, don't come inside. Uh, 
Lord knows what's going on with all that. Anyways, I get the order, I get there, and it turns into this. $8.25, $2 extra tip, phenomenal order value, doesn't get better than that, M amazing. So, we absolutely needed that. Um, like I said, we were getting we were getting pounded, man, on uh, tonight. So then, I just accepted a three-item order, seven twenty-five from a place called Fin Thai. The other night, I got a tremendous tip, hidden tip on there, and I'm hoping we have more of the same. We will see. I don't know, but it was only what was it, three or four miles? I think I have it up there. I can't remember exactly right off the top of my head. Let's see here. It was oh, sorry, five point one miles three items uh, I'm hoping we can you know improve the value on this now it's 725 which means we only have 17 minutes to complete the order so we got a lot going on here because this restaurant's got to have the food ready and if they're and if it stays at the 725 which would be 225 plus five dollars well like I said we got a we got a heavy hill to climb here and this could be another order that takes us off our game or it could be another we're playing the, the hidden tip game tonight i think i found one we shall see there you are yeah, man, no problem. You have a great one. All right, guys, Dad Dash back here. So wanted to um, go over the final two orders there. They did turn out to be the final two orders because it took me well after 8.30 to get these delivered. Uh, went to the Thai food restaurant, um, and there was a long wait. And, man, I am glad I picked up that second order because I needed every bit of it because there was no extra tip on the Thai food. So that was a that was a gamble that went awry, uh, awry, I guess I should say awry. And it did not bear fruit. But um, ended up with um, a, you know, uh, on the Outback order, I ended up picking that up that with no wait. Ended up waiting a total of about 12 minutes at the restaurant. Oh, no, actually 15 minutes at the restaurant. Most of it being at Thai, at the Thai food restaurant. So... Uh, we actually delivered the Outback order first, and that turned into a $7.50 order. So we got an extra $1.50 tip on that order. And then we turned around and um, went and delivered the Thai food restaurant. And as you can see there, that turned into a, well, it didn't turn into any. That, that stayed $7.25. It was two twenty-five base, $5 tip. Now, when you look at the order ticket values, the tips... We're, about, we're exactly what DoorDash would have put up on the screen. Um, but the order value on that was $25.29 in the end. We didn't really, it did come in at, at the $25 we wanted. I saw potential, you know, that we could have maybe gotten that delivered much earlier if it would have been ready at the Thai food restaurant, and we could have really blown that one out. I was hopeful that there would be extra money involved. There wasn't. It is what it is. So, we are off. You, you may see I'm running around my shopping center, but I'm actually, I've turned off all the apps. At 8.30, I committed. I was turning off the apps tonight. I've got to go run an errand before I go home, and then I've got to get home. Um, but that was my commitment was 5.30, I, or, uh, uh, yeah, 5.30, I was turning the apps on. It took me that long to get my first order, and then I was turning them off at 8.30. I wasn't taking another order past 8.30. I did get a couple offers before I got the app off. They weren't anything good. If I would have been work, willing to work another hour or so, I could have made the 100 tonight. It was going to take a little while. So not a very strong night. Um, much weaker than what I expected. And I really can't wait to dig into the numbers on this night. Really dig in and, and see where all the metrics came out wrong here. Because it definitely did not bear fruit with what I thought I knew was going to happen. And I have a feeling it dealt with two things. Order flow and average order value uh, were low. Um, um, guys, I appreciate you watching tonight. Hopefully you got something out of this. I mean, this wasn't one of my best nights. This is a Saturday. This is a dinner shift. This is absolutely abysmal. So I am not happy at all. But I do intend, as I always do, whenever a shift doesn't work out, I want to dig into the numbers. I want to understand it. 
This is the first time I've not included the Charlestown market, even though, you know, on Grubhub that extends out in there. And I think that's an important component because of the amount of land we have to cover up here in this market. But anyways, guys, without further ado, I'm going to throw up the financials for you, let you dig into those. Be on the lookout for the order review, profitability review. We're going to dig into all of that. We're going to also probably get into talking about, once I do further investigation, maybe talk a little bit about the measurements and why we didn't, and exactly what was off about this ship. Um, but guys, I appreciate you watching. Hit that subscribe button if you got something uh, out of this, if you found this to be of value. Also, share this with somebody that you think could gain value. And as always... Uh, hit that like button as well to let YouTube and me know that you enjoyed this video. So I appreciate it, guys. I will be talking to you soon. I'll be back with much more content. And um, without further ado, guys, let's roll those financials.